Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. In this one I'm going to be looking at uh, uh, repairing cracks in guitars again since I've been getting those uh, to do and I have simplified my technique and so I'd like to show you those simplifications that still work. And the most common damage that you have to the cheaper guitars are cracked bouts. Uh, that is because the grain runs this way, there's no reinforcing behind the, uh, the side and you get a hit and it will fracture lengthways. So we need to repair those. What you'll need is uh, some, some thin nylon, some very thin ply that you're going to make little patches out of, some matchsticks, and if you don't have matchsticks you can get some thin wood and with a knife uh, chop some little sticks. So you're going to take your nylon and feed it through the crack and pull it out the sound hole. Then I can put a, a clamp on that just so that I don't lose the end of it. Now taking some ply, which I have, it was a three ply that I planed one of the faces off to get down to my two that I, that's basically an off cut from a ukulele. Um, that is about two millimeters, but I can make it thinner to even down to one. I'm going to now cut a strip. Now you can use just uh, thin sticks, but because it's got a grain, it's likely to split if it gets a hit. If it, so if you have a two ply, grain going one way, grain going the other way, you don't have to worry about the orientation of the patch because if the orientation of the patch is the grain with the grain, if it gets another hit, it can split down the grain. But if it is aligned with it with the two ply, one of the plies is going to be with the grain and the other against the grain. So no matter which way you put it, it's going to have some sort of against the grain or across the grain situation so that it won't fracture if the guitar gets another hit and when you drill your hole through, it won't split. So that, in my opinion, is better than just a normal stick. Now, if it's too thick, you can get some sandpaper <coughs> and sand it down a little bit thinner. So it's between one and two millimeters. I can mark that, so I'm gonna have the patch with where I'm gonna have a hole in the middle. Another patch hole, patch hole, patch hole. I could use a sharp object to make a hole through that or in this case I can I have a small drill so I can drill those little holes and I can cut them to into little squares. Now I can take that nylon and thread one of those patches on and then take a matchstick and tie the matchstick after that. With a, a double knot helps that nylon stay secure. Now snip the other end and tie a matchstick on it also so that it doesn't pull through the body when you're working with it. Now you're going to do several of them, feeding them through and then pulling them down further so that they're every inch or so because you're going to put cleats behind that crack and you can do a number of those. Now apply some glue to that patch on the, the other side to the, uh, to the matchstick and then pull that through by pulling the nylon and it should then come up hard against the crack. And I can take that matchstick there and put it on a stick, and in this case a pencil, and wind it round. So you're going to wind it up. And then put on a clamp or two on, on either side, so that those clamps apply a little bit of downward pressure on that stick to keep it tight against the bout. Repeat that as many times as you need to. Now fairly quickly you want to take a little bit of glue and massage that into the cracks 
Now behind the, the patch will put some glue into the crack, but between those patches you need to massage some in. Then also clamp it with a luthier's clamp just to close that crack and put a bit of pressure on it while it dries. When that's dry you can undo all of that. you can reach those matchsticks, um, pull those through and snip off the top matchstick. If you can't reach that matchstick then just snip it off and that will make it easier to get the matchstick out. Now that crack is very solid and integral but you can see that hairline uh, fracture because of the varnish and paint that fractures off when it gets its hit and, and, and breaks. Now it won't split but you will have areas like this where there won't be the same colouring. If you apply more varnish it will still be playable and integral but you will see that hairline fracture uh, but from a distance you won't. But it is better to uh, sand that all back and put a whole heap of coats of varnish back on and repaint it and those cracks will almost all but disappear. And this one we will obviously have to sand back and re-varnish. But anyway, the repair is solid.